Ernest Borgnine made a big mark in showbiz because he was really good at acting in lots of different roles. You might know him from old movies or TV shows. He was loved by many because he could play all sorts of characters really well. Do you have any favorite memories or stories about him? Share them below and stay tuned for more interesting facts about his life and career. Ernest Borgnine was a famous actor who left a lasting impression on cinema with his unforgettable performances. If you're new to his work, watching his movies is a great way to see how talented he was. Some movies you should definitely check out include Marty, where he plays the main character and does an amazing job, and The Wild Bunch, where he shows how versatile he is in a tough western. In Escape from New York, he makes his character really interesting, especially alongside the rest of the cast. Another great movie is From Here to Eternity, a classic war drama where Borgnine's acting is really powerful. These films are a must-see for any fan who wants to appreciate Borgnine's talent on screen. During a break on the set of a movie, the actor had a surprise visitor in his dressing room. Tom Parker, who managed Elvis Presley, dropped by unexpectedly. Elvis, grateful for the actor's support during his first film, sent over some records. The actor realized Elvis was too shy to deliver them himself, so he arranged for Elvis to visit the next day. When Elvis came by, he heard his song Hound Dog blasting from the dressing room. The actor had proudly displayed Elvis Borgnine on the door. It was a special moment for both of them. After leaving the Navy, he struggled to find acting jobs. He ended up living with his parents, unsure about his future in showbiz, but he didn't give up. Eventually, he met Shelley Winters, who became his co-star in a TV movie. They worked well together, showing how much they loved acting. Years later, he met Tim Conway again. This time, they worked on a cartoon show, using their voices for characters. It was a fun job that reminded them of their friendship. From tough times after leaving the Navy to successful moments in acting, his story shows that if you keep trying, you can achieve your dreams. His work with Winters and Conway shows different parts of his career, leaving a lasting impression on entertainment. In Emperor of the North, Shaq, played by Ernest Borgnine, stands out as a memorable collaboration between Borgnine and the legendary Lee Marvin. Their partnership in various projects showcased their undeniable on-screen chemistry. Another notable film where Borgnine left a lasting impression is The Wild Bunch, where he portrayed Dutch. Borgnine appreciated director Sam Peckinpah's skillful direction, commending him for his efficient management on set. Peckinpah's ability to stick to schedules and establish a positive rapport with the cast was noteworthy. Behind the scenes of The Wild Bunch, Peckinpah demonstrated his directorial flair by occasionally tweaking the script and altering scenes spontaneously. An example of such creative spontaneity was the introduction of the character Crazy Lee to the railroad office robbery scene played by the talented Bo Hopkins. During filming, Peckinpah's habit of omitting unnecessary dialogue became evident. Rather than relying solely on words, he let the actions of the characters convey the story. This was clear in the final shootout at Mapoche's Fort, where Borgnine's character originally had a line directed towards William Holden. However, Pekinba decided to let the intensity of the action speak for itself, removing Borgnine's line to enhance the cinematic impact. The collaborative efforts of Borgnine, Marvin, and Pekinpa resulted in a cinematic masterpiece that continues to be celebrated for its authenticity and impactful storytelling. It's a demonstration of the creative ingenuity and flexibility that emerged from the dynamic interactions among the cast and crew during the making of The Wild Bunch. Indeed, the impact of this film endures as a tribute to the artistry and craftsmanship of those involved, leaving a lasting impression on cinematic history. Ernest Borgnine had memorable roles in movies like Emperor of the North and The Wild Bunch. In Emperor of the North, he played Shaq alongside stars like Lee Marvin. Directed by Robert Aldrich, the film had talents like editor Michael Luciano and producer Kenneth Hyman. During the filming of The Wild Bunch, he faced challenges. Director Sam Peckinpah's intense approach led to tension on set. William Holden and Robert Ryan clashed with the director over his treatment of the crew. Borgnine himself confronted the director due to health concerns caused by filming conditions. His connection to the Navy was significant. He served for 10 years before pursuing acting, reaching the rank of gunner's mate first class. In 2004, he was honored as an honorary U.S. Navy Chief Petty Officer by MCPON Terry Scott. Throughout his career, Borgnine showcased his talent and commitment both on screen and off, leaving a lasting impression on the film industry. 
playing Lucius and Barabbas, he appeared alongside Katie Gerardo, who portrayed Sarah, his wife, at the time. Their on-screen chemistry was strong, reflecting a real-life connection that didn't last as they divorced in 1963. Moving from one notable role to another, he took on the character of Donegan in Vera Cruz, a film entirely shot in Mexico. During a memorable break from filming Vera Cruz, he and Charles Bronson, dressed in costume, went into town to buy cigarettes. However, what was supposed to be a simple errand turned into an unexpected encounter with the law. Mistaken for bandits, they found themselves at gunpoint until the film crew clarified the situation. According to Jonathan Silverman, the lead of the Single Guy series, he brought an unmatched level of energy to the set. He set the standard by consistently being the first to arrive and the last to leave each day, showing a strong work ethic and commitment to his craft. In the world of entertainment, his journey goes beyond his roles on screen. His ability to immerse himself in diverse characters, along with his dedication to his work, left a lasting impression on those who worked with him. The anecdotes from the sets of Barabbas and Vera Cruz offer glimpses into the career of this talented actor whose contributions to the industry are noteworthy. This narrative captures the essence of a Hollywood icon, showcasing not only his professional skills, but also the interesting moments behind the scenes. His journey in the film industry is a story worth remembering. Ernest Borgnine, known for his role as Shaq in Emperor of the North, encountered several changes in directors during the making of the movie. Initially, Martin Ritt was supposed to direct, but was replaced. Then, Sam Pekinpa was considered, but couldn't agree on payment terms. Eventually, Robert Aldrich took over, having previously directed Borgnine in The Dirty Dozen six years earlier. In 1995, he embarked on a tour across the United States in his custom bus, the Sunbum, connecting with fans and exploring the country. The journey became the focus of the documentary Ernest Borgnine on the Bus, directed by Jeff Krulik. After the tour, he returned to television with a co-starring role in The Single Guy, which aired on NBC's Must See Thursday lineup during the 1995-96 season before moving to Wednesday nights for its 1996-97 final season. Tragedy struck in 22 when his second ex-wife, Katie Gerardo, passed away. Despite their separation, Borgnine referred to her as beautiful, but a tiger. His life included not just his work in movies, but also a personal journey documented in the unique bus tour and television ventures. The complexities of his relationships, both professionally and personally, reveal a man who navigated the ever-changing world of entertainment. Ernest Borgnine portrayed memorable characters in various films, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. In Emperor of the North, he took on the role of Shaq, facing off against Lee Marvin's character in what was touted as the fight of the century on some movie posters. Another noteworthy performance was as Marty Pilty and Marty, a role that earned him the Best Actor Oscar. His Oscar statuette was presented to him by Grace Kelly at the RKO Panages Theatre in Hollywood. In Willard, he played Al Martin, a character who surprises his secretary and staff by arranging $8,000 in cashier's checks and cash for a colleague's European vacation. This sum, equivalent to over $54,000 today, showcases the significance of the transaction in the film's context. Ernest Borgnine's versatility as an actor shines through in these roles, contributing to the enduring appeal of these films, 